In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to create React Native project and build the folder structure. Inside this folder, let's open a new terminal. Inside terminal, just type nbx react native in it. And after this in it, just type your project name. For example, we're gonna name it smart e-commerce. And just press enter. Just type Y, that mean yes, to install React Native new package, to install React Native point 73, and you have to wait until your project got created. Now, our project has been created. Let's open it. CD. Smart e-commerce. And let's open it inside our code editor. Just type code dot and press enter. Now that's our React Native project, our smart e-commerce. Let's create our folder structure. Let's add folder called src. Inside this folder, we're gonna add all of our folders that we're gonna use in this project. For example, we're gonna create a folder called screens. Inside this folder, we're gonna add the screens of the app. Let's create another folder called assets. Inside this assets folder, we're gonna add the SVG icons and the app icons and some images like background image and so. So we're gonna add inside this folder SVG and we're gonna add another folder called images and we're gonna add another folder called fonts because in this, in this tutorial we're gonna use custom fonts. Okay, we're gonna add another folder called EBI. Inside this folder we're gonna create the configurations and helpers of our EBI integration process. We're gonna use Axios, so I'm gonna add some helpers and configuration inside this folder. We're gonna also add a folder called components. We create any screen, we build it using components. For example, the header component, the input component, and so on. So we need this folder called components. And inside it, we're gonna add some folders like buttons, inputs, views, and so on. We're gonna add some folders later in this course, okay? We need also a folder called content. Inside this folder, we're gonna put some static content as you're gonna see in next lessons. We also create a folder called helpers. Inside this folder, we're gonna add some helper functions and so. This will make our coding process is easier. We also need a folder called styles. We're gonna put the styles and the colors and the font families inside this folder called styles. We also need a folder called navigation. Inside this navigation folder, we're gonna add our navigation stacks and tabs and so, and drawer also. We need also another folder called store. Inside this folder, we're gonna add the Redux logic, like, ax like actions and reducers and the store of Redux to manage the global state. We also need a folder called hooks, since we're gonna use React query, and also sometimes we need to create custom hooks, so we're gonna put them inside this folder called hooks. We're gonna create a new folder called localization. Inside this folder, we're gonna add the localization logic because we're gonna use two languages in this app. We're gonna also need a new folder called data because we're gonna put some data inside this app. We also need a folder called constants. Inside this constants folder, we're gonna put some global constants that we're gonna need them. We also need a folder called types. This folder is for TypeScript because we're gonna use TypeScript in this project. And inside those folders, we're gonna add another folders. For example, like in screens, we're gonna create 
a good structure like this. We're gonna put auth screen inside a folder and we're gonna put home screen inside another folder. We're gonna create a folder for, for cart screen when we put in cart or something. So make sure please to follow along with me because we're gonna add some more folders later inside this course. I hope I didn't forget anything I hope this and if I have forget a folder or something don't worry we're gonna create it later in the course so don't forget subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like this video and let's get started creating our great project thanks for watching and see you in next lesson